Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Back in June of 2023, I featured a story about Ryan and his preposterous pool episode involving another resident, her husband, and ex-officer Brittany Guerrero. After a verbal altercation over which direction people should swim, the woman's husband flashed a concealed firearm, and both parties called 911. When Guerrero arrived as the second officer on scene, she flipped out on Ryan and took him into custody. Come in, how you doing? You can touch pockets for me? I have to watch the judge. Sir, I don't keep your hands out of your pocket. Relax. Relax. I haven't done a crime. Don't talk to me like Listen that. Listen to me. I don't know you. You Listen, can put that down. I don't know you. You're the one with the gun. Why? Get down on the ground now. Get what down the on the ground. Is this? Get down on the ground. What the fuck? Because I told you not That's to reach for anything. I haven't committed a crime. You don't have any Get that to your side. I haven't now. committed a crime. The man that flashed his firearm fearlessly fibbed. How did you know that you were armed? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you told that other officer that you put your hands up like this so that my wife is under arrest. Um, I'm, I'm not completely sure, to be honest with you. I know it didn't come out of the pulse or anything like that. No, I didn't um, say it came out, but how was he able to know that you were armed? Because he called us and said that you were armed. So how did he know that? I don't know. I mean, if I lift my shirt up, you can see it. Okay. But, so did you want him to see that you were armed? Did you tell him you were armed? Um, I don't, no, I don't think so, no and Ryan was taken to jail. I would love for you guys to arrest me right now for this. So at this point, I'm done talking. Can we either Ryan, get the Ryan, handcuffs Ryan, off or Ryan, can you arrest Ryan, me? Ryan, Ryan, listen to me. Sir, I would L not listen. be like this if your officer didn't pull a gun okay, on me. Ryan. She okay, is but you have to talk more... to me now, so no, I'm talking to you. At this point, Ryan. I just want to know, am I free to go, yes or no? The answer is no, okay. not yet. Okay. Now, Ryan, I don't, want, until you guys I don't want you to talk yourself into going to jail. I'm you not understand gonna that? myself into going to jail, but you if are. you're going to if you're gonna arrest me for resisting, I, I would I would love it. I don't know that we're going to do that. Because I wasn't resisting. I, so well, first you, of all, I don't know. I, wasn't I do know, though. Any kind of non-cooperation with the There was no non-cooperation. There was none. I got a media on the ground. She, she had a gun on me. Right, you think tight. I'm not going to cooperate? Sit tight. I'm not going to get anywhere with but once supervisors realized their mistake, Ryan was set free and the aggressor was issued a citation for improper exhibition of a firearm. Okay, so like I said, you're being charged with one misdemeanor count of improper exhibition of a firearm, okay? So this is what's called a notice to appear. This is all your information. This is what you're being charged with. This is your court date. It appears his firearm was seized and eventually returned after completing an anger management course. And as you may recall, an investigation into Officer Guerrero's actions began shortly after. It was your belief that he could have been armed? He could have been, yes. And you felt that he wasn't following your commands. So you felt the need to draw your weapon? Correct. Throughout that initial 11 seconds or so interaction, you continue to walk towards him. You advance towards him the entire time. Right, because he's on the ground. I can see right. where his hands are, and then I reholster. Not when he's on the ground. Not when he's on the ground. From the time you get out of your car to the time you made physical contact with him and handcuffed him, you advance towards him the entire time. Okay. So there was no pause behind cover. There was no using a vehicle for cover. That's what I'm asking. You felt that he was armed and posed a threat that you needed to escalate to deadly force, but you walked past a vehicle where you had an opportunity to get cover, but you didn't, correct? I mean, yeah, but again, like I said, I, it, it, in my mindset at the time, like that's, that's nerve-wracking. That's uncomfortable. I'm trying to do the best that I can at that point to make a scene secure. You know, I'm not saying that the last thing I'm thinking about is cover, but I'm, I'm trying to prevent an incident. At any time, because it's not clearly visible on video, was he searched? At that time, no. Okay, why not? Um, again, I was still trying to maintain some type of control because he was so verbally aggressive. I understand he was handcuffed at that time. However, he was attempting to stand up and I, I needed him seated. He was considerably taller than me and at that point I needed him sitting on the ground. I don't know why his initial reaction was to want to get up or, or verbalize to me, I'm going to stand up. No, I'm still trying to take control of my situation. I called you guys for help because this guy's brandishing a gun at me. Sit down! I didn't say get up! I said sit down! Who the f*** 
Jesus, relax. where's your supervisor? I'm He's getting you. See how she's talking? Way. I haven't relax. done anything. But you said that he was trying to get up. That's You didn't search him because you're trying to control him. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't trying to get up until you rolled him over and told him to sit up. She just clearly was at, almost like she was aggravated with the whole thing. Like, just body tight, language, the just... She clearly was, it was like an overload of adrenaline uh, was in her system. She just seemed like it was beyond her control. You, you don't get to tell me what to do. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Why are you yelling at me? Because I have every Who right to right you? now. What's your badge number? 321 Guerrero, G-U-E-R-R-I-M. Make you sure you spell it right. You, if you're this scared of a guy scared in a swimsuit. Scared I've been here for 20 years. You're terrified of a guy in a swimsuit. I didn't do anything. You can shut gentleman? your mouth she just They just there. detained me. I explained. There's no gun. That guy has a gun. I don't detain anybody for no reason. Then what reason? Because I what told you. What crime did I commit for you, you to detain me? Can you shut your mouth so I can explain it to Are you? Are you in charge of this lady? Who's the sarge? This is I'm absurd. Why am I in handcuffs on the ground? Are you a supervisor? No. So, he's the victim. There's a moment in the video where she is literally grimacing with her. I think her hands are clutched. She has this scowl, facial expression, tighten lips the whole bit, staring at him, Mr. Gould, and she he looks up at her and goes, what's wrong with you? Look at you. Something like that. Right. And then she just stood up. Are you a yeah. supervisor? No. no supervisor. Can someone way. explain why I'm handcuffed on Can you shut your that? mouth no. so I can talk to you? Look at you. <laughs> You're furious. What did I do? You did not listen. You're not my boss. Listen to I me. I don't need to listen to you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Who Dude, are you? No, no, no. This is the only way to get you I didn't commit a crime. I didn't out commit out a crime. She doesn't right. get to detain me. Yes, pull I her do. gun. Pull her gun on me. Because when you put me on the your hands in your pocket, and I, I didn't get commit a crime. Of a I don't gun. care. You're you that terrified. You shouldn't be a cop if you're that terrified. I've been here for 20 years, punk. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Here. Go somewhere real. I consider myself a tr like a trusted part of that team. I'm a senior officer who they put a lot of responsibility on. I cannot tell you the amount of times I made OIC because I'm one of the most senior and trustworthy people on that ship and they know that. The person from the uh, Sable Ridge showed, called and said, hey, I'm here, I, I've got into the camera system. So we sent, I think, Valerio to go back over. And he called me and he goes, oh yeah, He's our victim. Once I got the video from Sable Ridge, I went into the conference room where the captain was, and I believe the major was, and I flat out said, I think we need to unarrest him, and here's why, and I showed them the video. After she was terminated, Hannah Phillips at the Palm Beach Post made me aware that Ryan filed a lawsuit against the two arresting officers, alleging 4th and 14th Amendment violations, false arrest, and false imprisonment. Of course, qualified immunity is already being used as a defense. Lawsuits are known to take years, so it could be quite some time before we hear anything more, but I will be releasing more body cam and interview audio of the incident in the coming weeks. Full videos of the parts included in this report can be found linked below. Then, in January of 2024, I published a story about Miss Juniper and her encounter with a McCracken County Sheriff's deputy after he cut her off and turned into a McDonald's. Juniper followed after the deputy and after knocking on his window, she told him to be more careful with how he was driving. No, You're gonna you send me to jail for your bad driving. Window, I knocked on your window. Okay. I knocked on your Be window after careful. you That's cut across medicine. two lanes huh? without okay. your turn signal. Oh, I think you're fixing to go to jail, but you because you, of listen your bad driving. Me. You did not come up in a protest like that, beating on my window. I you got scared me because I had no clue. She was eventually arrested and taken to jail. I tell you, whenever you go there and you 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 beat on his window and you put him in fear of I, physical injury, okay, it's called I disagree insane. with that. Well, I wasn't here for that, okay? okay? And first appeared in court in September for the incident. Some videos that I'm obtaining for Ms. Mulligan, I would like to turn over to County Attorney. If we could put this up for the, another pretrial, for the first pretrial. How about October 24th? be great, Your Honor. Thank you. 9 a.m.? She then appeared for a third time in October of 2023, and the charges were dismissed. Juniper Mulligan. Good morning. 
dismissed, dismissed without prejudice, according to the county attorney's office, and without correct. objection. All right, so order. Ready to go. Thanks. After the video was published, this audience helped raise nearly $20,000 to sue the deputies and the sheriff's department for the wrongful arrest. Juniper used the money to hire an attorney, and the case was settled in record time for $25,000. She has since donated $5,000 of that settlement to the Merriman House Domestic Violence Center. These stories are a testament to the power that you have as a viewer. So thank you to everyone who liked and shared the videos to spread the message and to those who donated. More updates on other cases are definitely in the works and are on the way. But for now, let me know what you think of these in the comment section and check out another episode linked on screen.